Yeah, good afternoon YouTube. This is the steady rest off of my Grizzly G4000 lathe. It's a 9 by 19 lathe. So these brass pieces here make contact with your, whatever you're turning in the lathe. And then you've got these threaded adjusters here. And there's some T-nuts. And so the idea is these T-nuts go in there and then into that hole there. Let me just turn it around so you can see it. And then the adjuster screw comes in through here, screws in through the T-nut, and then that's what lets this slide in and out. So it pushes this piece in and out. But what I found was these things were so tight that you just can't adjust them. They probably had some sort of grease. I've, I've never cleaned these up myself. But what you can see in there it's got all the original paint is down inside there and I think that's what what's making this really tight so this one I cleaned up here and you can see that moves a lot better so what I found works pretty well I just take a little triangle file and not really removing any metal but just kinda cleaning off any burrs and then all the old paint so this one here you can see is really bad it was probably okay when it was new, but I think the cutting oil and whatnot that's got in there has softened the paint. So it's real easy to take off, and you just clean out the paint, and then there's like an orange primer. You can see here where all the, the original paint was. So I think all the cutting oil over the years has just got in there and messed up the paint. I just want to shine these up a little bit here. Again, I'm not really taking off any material, just kind of shining the piece up again. So, yeah, that fits in there. Took a rag with some isopropyl alcohol on there and then hit these with some Scotch Brite pads. And goes pretty nice. Yeah, I think these all fit in there now. Just put a little dab of grease in there. There'll be cutting oil in there too by the time you use the thing. It fits pretty well. I figure just find where everything fits easily. Yeah, there we go. So that one moves. That one. That one. And you have these T-nuts go in there. Yeah, so that comes in there. There's no uh, retainer clip inside on these. So like when you when you screw this in, this unthreaded part pushes the brass in. But when you screw it out, it just, the whole thing comes out. Yeah, they, they really need like a little retaining washer in there or something. But I mainly only use this on one size material, so I'm not adjusting it terribly often. Get those in there. And then on this side, you just have a washer and a nut. So you just tighten these down. Once you get to the setting you want, you just tighten those down and that holds the T-nut in place so it won't move on you. Yeah, there we go. You can see if you unscrew it, the piece doesn't come out, so you do have to push it. Yeah, they really needed some sort of retaining ring in there. But yeah, that, that's a lot nicer. Set pretty close there. That'll work. I need to chuck this long piece in the lathe, grab it on the jaws here, and then I've got to cut this end over here. So I got to put the steady rest out at the end and then I throw a live center in the middle there. So I've got it supported here and here and then I can make my cut. I've got to cut this down to 8 millimeter. So it starts out at 25 mils and I got to cut it down to 8 so I can thread the end here. I guess that's some of the cleanup work you have to do on these Chinese lays. It's a, like I said a Grizzly G4000. I've used this just a couple of times over the last 20 years, but I've never cleaned it up. I just kind of struggled with it the way it came, and they always talk about how you need to do a little bit of cleanup work. So luckily the original paint had softened up, so it was real easy to remove. But yeah, they really shouldn't paint the inside of those slots there. You can't have paint in <laughs> inside of a precision fit groove like that. But so anyway, that's how to clean up one of these steady rests, make it a little more uh, easy to use. 